Hi, I'm Camilla Ferrer with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're in Hollywood for the premiere of The Haunting of Hill House. Fine. Honestly, I'm a really big fan. Hush. I watched so to hear that. probably yeah. seven times because I really like horror, but that specifically, that yeah. movie, I kept making all my friends watch it. Good, because it was written for us, like written for women oh, who feel like they've lost their voice. Yeah. And so, I, it was, so how was that for you? I mean, you, were, you played a deaf woman. Like, yeah. I can't imagine how complicated that must have been. So how did you do that? Well, I think it was important to uh, start with Maddie as a person who was deaf, not just play a deaf person, because that's when you start to get into character and you start to get into like representation issues. And so what I, I'm not deaf, I don't like, you know, so I started from a place of what it must feel like to feel like you can't be heard. And I think we all as women understand that, you know, and from there, I just relied on a really powerful crew and director to help me portray a deaf person. and. Um, and it was really, it was quite the challenge. I have to say, it was really nice to be able to speak in Haunting of Hill House. Yeah. Tell me about your character in this, in this show. Um, I play Theodora Crane, who is the older version of this beautiful young actress. <laughs> and um, we grew up in a haunted house. And through a strange encounter with a ghost, I developed a psychic power where when I touch people, I get a, se a sense of their trauma or their past. And so, which is unfortunate for Theodora because she hates feelings. She just wants to be left alone to read a book and have some whiskey, but she's inundated with this trauma and these feelings. She's a middle child, so she's constantly being pulled back and forth between her siblings. And she's trying to, trying to figure out what happened that night. Well, you worked on a horror movie, Hush, and now you're, you worked on this horror series. What were the similarities? What were the differences? What did you like more? Um, I think there are a lot of similarities because it's a heightened experience. I did love the source material of this series. I think Shirley Jackson is an incredible writer, like a feminist icon, and an honor to be bringing her characters to life. And so, you know, with Hush, I had a hand in the writing of it, so I didn't have as much, like, awe for the creator as I did of the Shirley Jackson series. What was it like working with Mike Flanagan? I hear he's amazing. So He's amazing. He is um, a true horror fan, so you know you're in good hands and you won't be asked to do ridiculous horror movie things. He really knows what he wants, and that's very helpful, and he's very collaborative. Thank yeah. you so much. It was lovely was meeting so nice you, meet and congratulations. Thank you. What do you do? December 3rd. My brother's having a daughter as well, and she's also due in December, so I'm so excited. Oh, I know. Yeah. Lovely meeting you. If you like this interview, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite scary movie is. Okay. <laughs>